It is a fact that 10 people drown every day in America, and drowning is the second leading cause of unintentional death for children under the age of 14 years old. However, learning to swim saves lives and reduces the risk of drowning by 88%. As we head into the first official long weekend of the summer, we wanted to invite Dana Harvey, owner of Can-Am Aquatics, on the show to talk about the importance of swim lessons. Welcome. I know this is your passion. This, this is, is how we met. Yes. Because my little Lydia was just itty bitty. Didn't yes. want to take her clothes off. No. To take swim lessons. No, she did not want to take her clothes off. But she can swim to this day. Yes. It is so important. What age should we be looking at for our kids? I start my program with children at age two, mm -hmm. and I run all the way through 10, 11, 12, kids getting ready for swim team. Uh, but I would say probably 95% of the children that I teach right now are under age six. Okay, so what are some of the questions that as parents we should be asking before we sign our kids up? Okay, the first one is gonna blow your mind because mm -hmm. you're gonna think, well, duh. You yeah. need to find out if that instructor is certified. Oh, okay, I never so thought that they wouldn't be. In the United States, the only state that mandates instructors be certified is Florida. So really? in the state of Virginia, any person that has swam or has whatever can mm -hmm. say, oh, I, I teach swimming lessons. Okay. So you need to ask that question. There are two national, big national certification programs. One is through the YMCA, the other is through the Red Cross. Okay. You as a parent have a right to ask that question. Mm -hmm. Are you or is the instructor my child will be with certified to do this? Okay. All That's right. number one. Mm -hmm. Then the second question will be, well, how many years of experience does that person have? Mm -hmm. If you signed your children up for piano lessons, you'd want to know. Sure. Well, how long have you been doing this for? Mm -hmm. Swimming lessons is something that is going to save your child's life. Yes. You have a right to know. Yes. Then the third question that I always encourage parents to ask is, will the same instructor be teaching my child all their lessons. Am I guaranteed that? Yes. You know, that's, that's important. That's true, yeah, because you might get the instructor with the certification right? one day and then another fill in the next. And it's also about building a relationship. What I'm asking these kids to do is really hard. Sure. They have to trust me. When I say we're going to do this one more time, we do it one more time. Mm -hmm. If I say I'm not going to take my hands off you, I'm not going to do that, but they, we have to build that relationship. If you keep dropping a different instructor in every time, they're not going to have that same sense of confidence and, and trust that they need to have around water. Yes, absolutely. I know that my daughter was terrified about getting her head wet. Yes. And yes, she built that trust with you, and then by the end of it, it was not a problem. No, and, and it happens very, very quickly, but it's about consistency. It's about not giving up because there's yeah. a crying jag or a temper tantrum or I hate you. <laughs> Okay, I want to read this letter because this okay. local mom could not make it on the show, but she wanted us to read this. So Wednesday, May 17th, my son Landry and I were at my parents' pool. He had been wearing an upper body floating vest all day. We had been out for a few hours and were laying out together to dry off and go inside. I asked Landry, who did not have her floating vest on at this time, to start cleaning up the toy so we could go inside. I was sitting on the chair opposite Landry and watched him walk down the first step, then the second, and without him realizing it, he didn't have his vest on, the third step. I watched his little head bob under that water. Mm -hmm. It was silent. He made virtually no noise as he went under reaching for that last toy. It happened in a split second. I blinked and he was down. I ran and I screamed, do what Miss Dana tells you, do what Miss Dana tells you. And by the time I reached him, I saw his chin lift up, eyes open, reaching for the steps. There is nothing in the world scarier than seeing your child face such imminent danger. This could have happened to any kid, any day, at any source of water. No matter how diligent and watchful you think you are, I am beyond words grateful for the lessons Miss Dana teaches my son every week. And that's a good reminder that parents need to realize that drowning does not, it's, it's silent. Absolutely. It happens. It's not as, like the movies. Help right, me, help right. me. It's yes, it just happens right in like front of that. you. Yeah. And it's not, Landry wasn't being bad. Right. His mom wasn't being neglectful. Yes. All of those things, it just happens in a split second. And so, with my program, what I focus on mm -hmm. first and foremost is the safety aspect, that they are safe in the water, that they know what to do. Mm -hmm. If they ever get down a step too far or they slip in or they get pushed in, they need to know, they need to have that instinctive reaction to get up on their back yep. and be able to figure out where they are and wait for somebody to come and get them or kick themselves back, yes. back to the wall. Dana, thank you so much. We're out of time, thank but you. we want to let you know that you can sign up for swim lessons, facebook.com slash swimming lessons.